My name is Stephen Bright and this is an introduction to our Easy Bridge Next Generation Bridging Innovations. So first of all, what is Easy Bridge? Well, Easy Bridge is a ladder bridging system. We connect short ladders together, tension with a rope, launch into place, invert the structure and then allow personnel to cross on a trolley. A little brief history here. The company started in 2015 and this really formulated when, when myself and a Marine shared an office in Central Exeter. In those times we chatted an awful lot about military bridging, obviously tank bridges, heavy bridges, and really what I learned from that was the key requirement was not heavy bridging at all, but very light personnel bridges, highly portable, particularly for urban warfare to move between buildings. My background was very much in heavy bridge construction, but could soon start thinking out some solutions to this, really focusing on tensioning ladders in a similar style to a sort of think truss type arrangement. The objective here was to move covertly between buildings in urban warfare, so rooftop to rooftop or window to window. The solution was a tensioned ladder system that I had in mind. The question was, how do we install that bridge? So bridge launch is obviously something we're quite familiar with. And we look, I looked in those days at two options, using a trolley and a bridge, where we either kept the trolley static or a trolley that moved with the bridge. The latter obviously being better to limit the bridge, local bending in that bridge, so it was axial loads only. But obviously much more complicated to make the trolley move with it. This then shows the sort of full launch sequence I then moved on to develop. Where we launch outwards upside down, rotate the structure and then invert it to this truss configuration here. This then offers except, exceptional strength to weight property. This illustration shows one of our, well, our, the, practically our first ever prototype in the assembly details for that. Long ladders, four meter ladders were used originally but quite complicated assembly, quite fiddly small parts, quite difficult and easy to lose. Um, but we were then looking at how we would launch this as, as per that model. Now this was based on personnel carrying the bridge in and launching over a lift beam at that stage. Another critical thing was how we dealt with the trolley. We, we, we knew that to get personnel across, we had to use the trolley and also for launch, but detailing that to sort of contain the trolley on the ladders was a key consideration. I did a small illustration there of some longer spans we considered at the time as well, which might have had multiple masts and multiple days. So this was some early long span concepts, so 16 metres and 24 metres. And we can see here the complexity that was envisaged at the time. Complex assemblies using an awful lot of counterweight to counterbalance the structure and, and probably using moving trolleys also at this stage. So the concept was there, but the, the practicality of that would obviously be Jumping ahead, just for information, this actually shows an, an 18 meter bridge in practice a couple of years ago. So this shows how simple it is to install and how simple the structure is in use. So this is our largest span, 18 meters, weighing 92 kilograms. Going back to the early history, though, so we started by buying some ladders just to do some experimentation and see where we could go. Now, we, we started some off the shelf um, builders ladders, a very particular type of ladder, or I won't go into the details why, but we wouldn't expect other ladders to perform anything like as well as this particular model. We then looked at tensioning it. This was very crude and basic, using ladders as masts, using two and four millimeter steel wire, if I remember rightly. Very basic um, connectors. We use wooden connectors, if I remember rightly, at this time, and very crude um, sort of tensioning anchors at the end of the bridge we can see there. What we're really interested in is could we launch the bridge in the way envisaged? Could we counterbalance it? Would it be a stable cantilever? Um, and this trial really did show um, great promise, really. An awful lot of bending in the ladders there, but it worked very well. We also did a very crude load test. Um, obviously, this was not the final setup, but gave us a very good idea of how robust this system would practically be. And um, we also did a, a small dynamic test, which I won't dwell on. Um, 2016, so first year, um, after about a year of the business being in operation, we, we embarked on our first um, bespoke fabrication. So this was particularly these mast elements and this launch nose girder, which we might see later on. Um, very bespoke elements. Um, another key design element was this trolley. So this, is, this shows the first ever trolley we built and how that's guided to remain on the ladder at times. This was the first ever dynamic load test of a 12 meter span um, done safely using um, ballast bags at that stage. And we then moved to assembly over the river rack. So this was when we first um, also trialed that cantilever booming again um, very effectively. Um, and methods of installation. So this was manual installation lift, uh, carrying the whole bridge assembly into place, not using the trolley for launch at the stage. 
We then looked at practical um, load trials over the river, again, very successful. And in 2017, we really perfected how this bridge could be installed quickly and simply. So this is launching over the, a static trolley. So we are putting local bending in those ladders, but this is a 15 meter bridge installed and crossed in under 20 seconds. Key component just coming into view now is that launch nose on the front, which I think we saw being fabricated in one of those photos. 2017, we were blessed with our first visit from the British Army, who'd sort of been aware of the system and gained interest and, and sent some guys down to have a look at it, and also supplied us with a very um, heavy duty load test, I'd say there, and that was, that was a great day of experimentation. Um, on that site, we're also able to prove 18 meter spans using whatever kit we had. So this wasn't um, the, the, the bespoke designed 18 meter. This was just really extending whatever ladders we had. I think actually this came in at 16, 17 meters, but it proved how strong that system was. Even when we took it to the design limit of 18 meters. 2017 things started to get serious. So the kit was invited into the army warfare experiment. It was put through engineer and infantry trials for real. Now, we only had that one prototype at the time, um, but that was nonetheless very successful. Our next challenge was to turn that basic system using four meter ladders into the sort of real system we wanted to promote, which was using very short one and a half meter ladders for portability. So the next challenge was bringing the system down from four meter ladders, one and a half. And the solution to doing this was this design we developed these easy lock joints this is an, an end insert connection male female inserts but with an over center clamp locking the joint together critically that joint is mounted eccentric, eccentrically um, that then gives us very good bending strength in one direction and less so in the other but the whole key to easy bridge is always making sure the bending loads are in the in the correct orientation so that was the perfect joint to achieve this this was our first ever prototype using one and a half meter ladders. Um, this was a demonstration in Belgium. Um, again, very successful. And also this one proved how we could build this bridge in very confined spaces and launch out of a window across to a, an opening on the other side. So really beginning to prove this window to window bridging capability. 2017, we started to be invited to a number of exhibitions and um, demonstrations. So this just shows one near Bristol, um, a few photos there. And also we were able to um, exhibit this first one and a half meter um, bridge. It was a, both bridges were on display there at the same time. We were supported in 2017 by an Innovate UK grant and that allowed us to do um, make an exhibition at the end of that process um, at the end of the year. And again, used that one and a half meter prototype, which just made life so much easier to transport and move this thing around. A number of photos are the same. So Indian Army demonstration later in the year 2017, we were very lucky, um, honoured to be um, host a demonstration for the Indian Army at our test site down in Axminster. Um, a really great day, supported by the British Army as well, who were keen to show off this kit to the Indian Army also. Um, a few photos, and this was a, a very rapid demonstration where we crossed the river twice in under two minutes um, with three personnel. A very successful day. 2018 um, key um, progress here was really in publicity and exposures. We were very lucky that a, a, a blogger called Think Defence, who's very prominent in defence communities on Twitter, really championed EasyBridge strongly and allowed us to write this article and then post it on their site. And this, this gained an awful lot of traction for us and is still our key reference to all our product range summary is really still provided through the Think Defence um, article. That roused interest from other parties, so infantry became interested in the kit. So this was a demonstration with one rifles before they're deployed to Afghanistan, just to see what this kit could do in urban simulated environments. Um, a number of photos there, but also this window to window crossing. Now here we're, we're talking short gaps that where the ladders aren't tensioned, just tensioned with those joints, those easy lock joints. But we're getting six meter spans um, without any rope tension. There. And again, that could be critical in a number of applications. Um, later in the year, we were very blessed again to meet the chief rural engineer who'd heard about the system and came and gave it a look and I think gave it some sort of endorsement. I think he was very positive about it, still is to this day, actually. Um, and that was another real sort of milestone for us to get this sort of attention was very important. Three Commando Brigade were instrumental to us as well, really supported us, gave us lots of opportunities to display and demonstrate the equipment. Um, and similarly here, so this is at R&B Chiba. Um, we also were able to test the system properly in urban warfare environments. So this shows an example of one of these window to window launches and then crossing in confined spaces, really what the system was intended to do. 
two four commando were, were real champions for the system um trialing it at chivna for us um and that that's more photos of really testing the portability of the kit that was critical and also it's again it's use we can see there in confined spaces they also took the system to belize to test it in the jungle which was very useful feedback for us obviously no ladders easy to transport in a jungle that's that really was quite a hard task but being one and a half meters it, it stood a reasonable chance but i don't think jungles are, are the favorite environment for them really 2018 ended another high point we're invented in, invited to the sapper awards the first of its type at the time um that was a great honor to be invited to that event 2019 um this was a pivotal year for us so we were supported by the Defence and Security Accelerator, another grant to really test um, the limits of Easy Bridge. So we first tested an 18 metre tail assault bridge, and that goes back to the video we just saw there. All built from one and a half metre ladder sections. So that proved this 18 metre span capability. We also got to prove our footbridge capability. So this starts with that tactical trolley bridge. To turn that into a footbridge, we just installed ladder handrails on their side to create a veer and deal truss down both sides and stiffen those edges and create overturning stability with those braced end frames. So that proved we could put bridges and this was the first of those prototypes um, that we built as part of this project. There was an awful lot of manufacturing involved here. We started making bespoke nose girder assemblies and our own bespoke ladders now at this stage. Um, under this Starser project, we also proved our easy roof capabilities. This is a blast resistant um, roofing system. Easy shift on materials handling conveyor. This is the, tr uh, the trolley being used on an angle rather than as a bridge um, to move ammunition, personnel or equipment. Easy breach, which is our fence breaching system for um, basically launching the bridge up a hill and then um, articulating it to a step ladder to get over fences undetected. We've also developed this under bridge access system. More on that in a moment. That year, we were also invited for tr to in submit the system for formal trials, the Royal Engineers Trial and Development Unit, three bridge kits supplied, still under test, a little bit delayed by COVID this year, but that, those sort of trials are still very much ongoing. That shows one of the complete 10 and a half metre bridges supplied, and that's, I think, a nine metre span in use. 2020, some new commercial opportunities, quad LTMP ramps, we didn't really expect. This is a new avenue, two and a half tonne vehicles using these as short gap crossings and ramps. And this shows one of those complete ramp kits. Um, this shows the conveyor still under trial with a rule engine with the RETDU development unit. And this shows them experimenting with the bridge before taking it on deployment to Kenya. So this was just using it, I believe, near Ipswich, just to get familiar hands-on with the equipment before taking it overseas. Um, really in the five years, the key things we've amassed is an awful number of awful big number of patents to protect what is really a simple idea. So there's a summary of our five years so far. Proof of concept 2015, first fabrication 2016, first military trials 2017, ongoing into 18, and 2019 really is the exper this experimentation of wider product ranges. And that's really con uh, continued into 2020. A summary about easy bridges, there's three main bridge types, small, medium and large. Small just uses plain ladder sections up to six metres. Medium, which is the main kit we're supplying at the moment, up to ten and a half metres, only weighing 50 kilograms. Large bridges up to 18 metres, we're yet to start selling, but we've proven that's possible. It's just something we need to spend more time refining. Number of users, and I'd say always using one and a half metre ladder sections now, really for maximum portability. So this is the world's first user portable long span rescue and assault bridge, all built from one and a half metre ladder sections for personnel or quad bike transit. Span range up to 18 metres, always installed by a single operative from the home bank only. And three bridge types, the basic trolley bridge and then two foot bridges and light vehicle bridge capability also. Unique selling points, portability, a 10 and a half metre bridge only weighs 50 kilograms. Next range, an 18 metre gap can be crossed with access from one side only. Thirdly, cost. This is essentially just ladders and ropes, so 88% cheaper than any alternative system. Also, versatility. It is a ladder, so we have 12 wide product applications. More on that in a moment. To compare this with the nearest rival system, this is the General Dynamics Infantry Assault Footbridges. This is a great system, but key here is it's, it's limited to vehicle transport. Its modules are four and a half metres long and weighing 56 kilograms. So delivered by truck and often unloaded by pallet handler. EasyBridge by comparison comes in one and a half metre modules only weighing seven kilograms. Also significantly lighter, significantly more compact and significantly cheaper. Critically being a ladder, we offer multiple wider capabilities. So we can build light vehicle bridges by widening that deck. We can use it as a ladder climbing. 
We can use it for vertical access as a conveyor. So this is moving personnel or equipment up the outside of buildings. We can use it for force protection, roof systems, trusses, or basic trench covers. Specialist access, this is that fence breaching system, the articulating bridge to get over a fence. Underbridge access, which is something we're looking at really this year. This, this really will take off I think, in the next 12 months. Some summaries here. This is intriguing in its simplicity and function, and your product looks very interesting and provides a unique capability. We're currently looking for investment scale at Easy Bridge Up. A little bit about that. So number of patents, number of trademarks, substantial investment in that. International markets overseas, um, some key markets and key painting coverage there. We think we've got a number of applications summarised here, but we think we could be looking at 8,000 bridge kit sales in the lifetime. That's alongside three or four other product ranges, um, which could be developed separately. Business position, I've invested a lot of money in this so far, but I'm sole stakeholder. We've got extensive IP protection, extensive capabilities, an exclusive product and exclusive know-how in how this works. Company situation, the core tactical assault bridge is now market ready. We've got significant commercial interest in that. We've got orders quoted in excess of one million pounds. We're now looking at something that exceeds a one, a one man operation, but I've remained sole director and stakeholder with a significant personal investment in the business. We've got extensive IP protection, a very broad product range. We think we're looking at sustained innovation and a long-term sales pipeline. We're offering to investors a potential of a full stakeholder opportunity in the business. We're looking, well, we're offering really an EIS eligible investment to anyone who wants to invest in EasyBridge. I'd be looking to be retained as technical director and complete the roles which I've already started. But we're now looking for an investor to take over production and distribution. Really, manufacture is our Achilles heel at the moment. We also need to complete destructive testing and insurance. In return, we're offering a full stakeholder in the business and shared rights in all our products. For those that are interested, that's a little bit more information about that investment plan. So to conclude, this is an entirely new capability, an 18 meter bridge only weighing 92 kilograms installed by a single operative. The core system is now market ready. British Army trials are ongoing and we've got numerous overseas inquiries. Also a number of future product range offering sustained innovation opportunities. We are actively looking for investment currently and we're offering full equity potential. Large sales up to 8,000 bridge kits in the lifetime with immediate profit potential. At the moment, the next, next venture is looking at school kit. So we're currently making one of these for, for a customer at the moment. And this really is looking at replacing the sort of thing we're familiar with, spaghetti trusses and suspension bridge models that are fairly rudimentary and clunky with these simple easy bridge models we saw in those early photographs. These are very cheap, very simple, but critically very robust also. We've also developed a number of online learning resources to support these educational projects, introduction, structure analysis, and summary bridge types on our YouTube channel. So three videos there totaling around 40 minutes of content. Thank you very much for your time. That was a quick introduction to EasyBridge. Hope you found that useful. Any questions, please contact us by all means. Thank you very much for your time.